negative 123 divided by 9. In this problem, we're being asked to use the division algorithm to find the quotient and the remainder. So this is our A, and this here is our B. And so the division algorithm says when you have A divided by B, you get the following equation. So A is equal to B times Q, or QB if you prefer that, plus R, where Q is the quotient and R is the remainder. So now we're going to take these and divide them. So let's do negative 123 divided by 9. I'm going to put this in my calculator. And I got negative 13.6, and it repeats. So because we have a decimal, you want to always round down. If you get a whole number, you're done, and that's your quotient. But if you have a decimal part, round down. Now, when you round down negative 13.6, the number that's smaller than this, the, the next whole number that's smaller is actually negative 14. Okay, it's a little bit tricky, right? It's a negative number, so it's different. And that's our quotient. To find the remainder, you just take all of your variables and you plug them in here. So A is negative 123. We said B was 9. And our quotient is negative 14. Plus r which goes here. So the way I like to figure out r is I actually multiply these in my calculator. So 9 times negative 14, I got negative 126. So what do you add to negative 126 to get negative 123? Well a positive 3, right? 3 plus negative 126 is negative 123. And that's the remainder in this problem. r is equal to 3. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.